In this lesson, we're going to divide a polynomial by a monomial. So let's say if we have 12x to the fourth minus 9x cubed plus 15x squared, all divided by a single term, a monomial, in this case 3x squared. So what would you do to simplify this expression? Whenever you're dividing by a single term, the best thing to do is to separate the fraction into smaller fractions. Divide each term in the numerator by 3x squared. So you can avoid long division. If you're dividing by a binomial, which has two terms, you need to use long division. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And when you divide by a common base, subtract the exponents. 4 minus 2 is 2. Negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. 3 minus 2 is 1. So it's going to be negative 3x to the first power. In this example, or in the next term, the x squares will cancel, so it's just 15 divided by 3, which is 5. So the answer is 4x squared minus 3x plus 5. Now, let's try one more example. So feel free to work on this one. And let's divide everything by 4x squared. So first, let's begin by separating it into three fractions. And then after that, just go ahead and divide it. 28 divided by 4 is 7. 6 minus 2 is 4. 36 divided by 4 is 9. And 4 minus 2 is 2. 20 divided by 4 is 5. And 3 minus 2 is 1. So that's the answer. 7x to the 4th minus 9x squared plus 5x. How can we divide a trinomial by a binomial? So let's say if we have x squared plus 7x plus 12, and we wish to divide it by x plus 3. How can we do this? The answer is long division. Let's put the denominator on the outside and the numerator, the stuff on top, on the inside. So first, let's divide x squared divided by x is equal to x. Next, multiply. x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. After that, subtract. x squared minus x squared is 0. They cancel. 7x minus 3x is 4x. 12 minus nothing, or 0, is simply 12. So you can just uh, bring down a 12. So we have 4x plus 12. At this point, divide again. 4x divided by x is positive 4. Then let's write the subtraction sign and then multiply. 4 times x is 4x. Four, 4 times 3 is 12. So now if we subtract them, 4x minus 4x is 0, 12 minus 12 is 0. 0 is the remainder. The answer is x plus 4. So x squared plus 7x plus 12 divided by x plus 3 is x plus 4. To check your answer to make sure that it's correct, multiply x plus 4 by x plus 3. It should give you x squared plus 7x plus 12. So let's FOIL it. 
x times x is x squared. x times 4, that's 4x. 3 times x is uh, 3x. And finally, we have 3 times 4, which is 12. Now, we can combine the uh, two like terms in the middle. 4x plus 3x is 7x, giving us what we have on top. So this is the correct answer. Now, let's try this example. 6x squared minus x minus 15 divided by 2x plus 3. So go ahead and use long division to figure out the answer, to simplify the expression. So we're going to put the 2x plus 3 on the outside, and then 6x squared minus x minus 15 on the inside. And so let's divide. 6x squared divided by 2x is 3x. After that, multiply. 3x times 2 or 3x times 2x, that's 6x squared. 3x times 3 is 9x. And now let's subtract. 6x squared minus 6x squared is 0. Negative x minus 9x, that's negative 10x. And negative 15 minus nothing is simply negative 15, which you could just bring it down. Now let's divide. Negative 10x divided by 2x is negative 5. And let's put the subtraction sign and then multiply. Negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. Negative 10x minus negative 10x, that's like negative 10x plus 10x, adds up to 0. Negative 15 plus 15 is also 0. So the remainder is 0, which means this is the answer. It's equal to 3x minus 5. So this is going to be the last long division problem in this particular lecture video. Let's divide a binomial by another binomial. So go ahead and take a minute and try that. So we're going to put the denominator on the outside and the numerator on the inside. Now, we need to write the numerator a special way. Notice that we have 9x squared, but we don't have a, a number like 5x or 4x. We don't have that, so it's missing. So therefore, we need to write 0x. And then let's write plus 8. The 0x part is important. Otherwise, you might get the answer wrong. So now, let's divide. 9x squared divided by 3x is equal to 3x. And let's put the subtraction sign. And then let's multiply. 3x times 3x, that's going to be 9x squared. And then 3x times 2 is positive 6x. So now we can subtract. 9x squared minus 9x squared is 0. 0x minus 6x is not positive 6x, but negative 6x. Now, if you forgot the 0, you might be inclined just to put 6x when it's supposed to be negative 6x, so watch out for that. Now, let's bring down the 8. 8 minus 0 is just positive 8. And now we can divide. Negative 6x divided by 3x is negative 2. And then let's subtract. But first we've got to multiply. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. And negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So this time, the remainder is not going to be 0. Negative 6x minus negative 6x, that's negative 6x plus 6x, that's 0. 8 minus negative 4, or 8 plus 4, is 12. So then the answer is going to be 3x minus 2 plus the remainder divided by what you try to divide it by, 3x plus 2. 
so this is the solution. So whenever you have a remainder, you need to understand that this is going to be your answer plus the remainder, whatever this is, divided by what's here, the 3x plus 2. That's going to be your answer if you have a remainder. If you don't have the remainder, then your answer is just 3x minus 2.